I am very excited to see how Pentatonix is going to take a very, very, very classic song, which is kind of what they do for all their songs. But I feel like Come All You Faithful is one of those ones where the, the melody and kind of the stylistic choices of it are kind of like ingrained into my brain from hearing it. Like, there's not many alternate versions of this. So it's kind of like that one that's like stuck in my head. Um, not that it's necessarily stuck in my head on rotation, but like the, it's ingrained in my head, I guess you could say is a better way to say it. Um, but that being said, uh, Pentatonix is so good at, t at taking the original version, kind of, I've noticed, introducing it, the song as the original version and then going into their completely own version. And I think that's a remarkable, remarkable trait. And actually, um, I think that the sign of a true artist, I think that um, there are artists out there or musicians, let me rephrase that, I think there are musicians out there that do really great cover songs. But it sounds like the cover song. Like, it sounds like they're, you know, it's so-and-so singing this group, right? But then there are artists out there that take cover songs, and then they take them and turn them into their own. And I think Pentatonix is one of those groups that um, is a group of, of several members of artists, where they take a cover and turn it into their own. And I think that is a, you know, a really difficult thing to do. Um, and I really admire. So let's get right into this. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jacob Restituto. I'm a musician from Northport, New York, and we got Come All You Faithful Pentatonics. Let's see what we got. All right, we got a, you know, a happy version of it, which is, I mean, look, look, look hold on a sec. Let me say, like, I guess Come All You Faithful is always happy, but it's like, it has a, a little bit of a somber tone, even though it's like not a somber song, but it's like this, like, I don't know, like the classic version is come all ye faith. Like not somber, but it's not like we don't get this like I'm almost getting Lion King's happy vibe. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, come all ye faithful. Dramatic tone. Wow, this is cool. Let me talk about this. So one of the things I want to give huge credit for that most people probably won't realize is the complexity of certain Christmas songs, this one being one of them. Um, for whatever reason, <laughs> Christmas music chord, like the chord charts, playing Christmas music is hard is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I've played many, many Christmases at my church and, you know, we we kind of do our own versions kind of like similar to them where like they, they take a cover song and then turn it into the, like the original <clears throat> style of, you know, the artist himself. So <clears throat> my church does its own kind of versions of these songs, um, typically, and sometimes we'll do the like the original kind of classic cover, right? But one of the things I noticed, regardless of what version you're doing, the chords are hard and the chords change every 14 milliseconds. Like it's like, you know, chord, 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 you know, like and it's just constantly changing and changing and changing. And that's one of the hardest things about Christmas music that I think is wildly underrated. So I want to give the basis here. Now, I'm going to be completely honest. I I, I read some, a comment that said um, 12 songs of the 23, I think it is. Is it? Oh, it's the, it's actually more than that. It's 31. 12 of the 31 um, feature Avi, and then the rest are Matt. So I'm not sure exactly. You know, obviously, I'm assuming the older ones, you know. And I don't know if there's any order to them, too. Um, but, like, I'm assuming maybe, like, you know, actually... You know, like, like uh, Hallelujah probably, you know, is the Avi version. I'm assuming, like, some of the older ones, you know, the Mary Did You Know, I'm assuming is the Avi, Avi version. Like, But point being, um, it's, a, it's a lot of work for the whole group because actually they all have to kind of change their chordal structure as it goes. But, like, the bass is really carrying a lot of this. One of the things I also want to say is you can he really hear the, um, the split vocals. You can he really hear, as Scott's singing this, you can really hear um, uh, uh, Mitch and, and, and Kirsten um Split. You can really hear the individual vocals, which you don't hear as much anymore. Usually, it's a lot layered and more blend and blended, um, which I think is cool that you can hear them if you can pick them out. I keep messing up her name though, Kirsten. Kirsten, I'm sorry. I, I you know, it's 
you know, it's been a while since I've done reactions, so I'm not speaking about each member of the group as often. So I'm being fully honest with you, fully transparent. So I apologize that, you know, it's c c cursed. Oh my gosh, what is my problem? Cursey. <laughs> Mitch's voice is crazy here. You hear the bass line? Listen to that. That's crazy. It sounds like an actual bass. Very world section we got like almost like this like stacking slowly layering of the vocals and then almost like this droning ooh like ooh going on in the background here Not expecting that. That's cool. The uh, we got a nice uh, uh, modulation coming up. You know, I don't. If you're sitting in, in your chair and not bopping, I don't know how that's possible with this track. You know, like there is so much going on, so much like rhythm in here. And and again, now I see why I kind of like gave it that Lion King kind of vibe. It has again like kind of like I want to say this 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 world style music. I want to even kind of go into this almost like you know african kind of rhythm going on and like you know with the e yeah 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 um also re reminds me of, i don't know if you're familiar with ed sheeran's um i don't know i don't know if this is the name of the actual track or if just a lyric but the bibiam ba kind of song um kind of just giving that world vibe <laughs> Dude, that's crazy, man. The per like all the different sections in there, I think, are underrated. There's, I don't. I, I want to really point out how many sections we had. So many, you know, the rhythm parts, the harmony parts, the layered, like, you know, layered vocals, the 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 oohs and ahs. There were so many different things going on in there that uh, I just really want to point out. It's incredible, incredible production. Um, their own version, which is really really cool, and like, what a great like track just to like kind of get you moving for sure.